Hey Blue Jays, it's time for the Friday Show. The Teaching Careers Program at Four Rivers Career Center is having a yard and bake sale on October 5th. It starts at 7 a.m. and goes until noon. This is a cash-only event, no checks accepted. All money raised helps Teaching Careers students with state and national competitions. Interact Club is continuing the period pantries they started last year. The locations are listed on this screen and are near girls' restrooms. They are free to anyone in need. There are several FAFSA workshops coming up at East Central College throughout the months of October and November. These workshops are free and will help you and your parents navigate the FAFSA process. See your guidance counselor for more information. Washington is hosting the Big Smiles Dental Clinic on November 21st. The dentist will provide a dental exam, x-rays, cleaning, and fluoride if needed. Please see the nurse in room 2713 for an enrollment form. We're trying Maria's Galletas cookies from Mexico. Are you Tinacas como el amor de mamá? Hmm. Oh, it, that means authentic as mom's love. Okay. Thin vanilla wafers. That's exactly what they taste like. What is a vanilla wafer? It's like an animal cracker. Oh, no, no, no. Animal crackers. Kind of bland. On its own, maybe like a B minus or a C. I'd give this an A. With whipped cream, could be an A. Has the potential for an A. B plus. Like C plus. I would say it's still as authentic as a mom's love, I'm assuming. Mindful Movement class is led by Miss Schuster and will now be held on Thursdays from 345 to 445 in room 1321. You must sign up for each class you plan to attend. Stop by Miss Schuster's room or send her an email. Also, you must have a release form filled out and signed by your parent or guardian before your first class. Give it a try. It's a stress-free way to head into your weekend. Interact and Key Club are teaming up to sponsor Warner's Winter Warm-Up. All gently used coats, jackets, gloves, mittens, and hats can be brought in and put in collection bin October 25th through November 7th. The end of the first quarter is coming fast, Blue Jays. Stay up to date on your assignments and keep studying. Finish strong. Here is your 2019 homecoming court. Second runners up are Sofia Zaka and Joe Hackman. First runners up are Gracie Ziglin and Drew Post. Your queen and king are Alexa Bell and Preston Weidman. The fall orchestra concert is Wednesday, October 9th at 7 p.m. in the CJB. It's free to attend. We hope to see you there. If you are interested in touring Japan in 2021, see Miss Graves or Mrs. Flynn. There will be a change drive October 7th through the 10th to benefit the United Way. The winning 7th hour gets a pizza party. Donuts with Cops is October 10th at 7.50 in the West Wing Cafeteria. Get a form outside room 2504 or 2313 to give blood at the Student Council Blood Drive on October 21st. Donors must be at least 16 years old. Thank you to all who support our homecoming events. Student Council will donate nearly $2,400 to the Franklin County United Way. Our pet of the week is Alicia. She is a young girl with plenty of personality. She has a beautiful black, brittle, and brown coat. But most importantly, she has a heart waiting to love a new family. Call the Franklin County Humane Society at 636-583-4300 for more information. Also, we have an update on last week's pet of the week. Piper has found her forever home. Thank you for adopting her. I've always been interested in the environment, but it never really hit me until I read a book called The Sixth Extinction. As that book educated me, I slowly started to care more about the environment and I just opened my eyes. So I was eating in the West Wing cafeteria and it was last year, I noticed we were just going through hundreds and hundreds of styrofoam trays every single day and I thought, this is disgusting, why are we doing this? And so I actually wrote a letter to Washington administration and then through that Dr. McCallum advised me to start a club for it and I said heck yeah <laughs> that's what we need. Yeah, I wanted to start the club. Starting a club is a really big thing for someone because it takes you outside of your personal life, your individual life and it really connects you with others. I'm looking forward to working with everyone else at WHS who is passionate about the environment and just passionate about life in general. We really want people to be so educated that they develop that care um, for the environment that inspired me to start the club. And it's, it's a feat, but it's, it's worth doing. 
definitely. I just want the world to be happier and healthier. <laughs>